Well, it's an honour to say this, but I'm joined backstage at the Southampton Guildhall with uh, editors. Well, uh, Tom and Russell from editors anyway. How are you guys doing? Not bad, not bad, thank you. Hello, yeah, we're really good. I hear Brighton was like, good last night. Did you enjoy yourselves? We did, yeah, it was good. It was a good one, Brighton, actually. We've, um, we had a good one there a few years ago, so we knew it was going to be quite lively and good fun, and it, and it was, it didn't disappoint, so yeah. It's a nice place to be as well, Brighton. So. Do you remember the last time you were in Southampton? Uh, yeah, it was here at this venue. It was quite a while ago, though. First album, wasn't it? No, we did it on. Or did we do it, did it on the last record? Did we? Did yeah, we, do this? we did it uh, three or four years ago. One of those tours. Yeah, it was when we had a false start at the beginning. Okay. Because the, the only time I've ever seen you guys was actually in 2008 when you supported REM. Oh, the cricket ground. Yeah, the cricket ground. Yeah, yeah. How was that? Because that must because that was your second album and you're supporting REM. That must have been something quite epic. <laughs> it was. I mean, REM are an important band for us as a band. You know, they're one of the reasons we started making music. Um, uh, so yeah, to be asked to play with with your um, musical hero heroes is a very big deal, and we had a lot of fun. We did a lot of shows across Europe and some in the UK, and yeah, Southampton was it the Rose Bowl? Is that what it's yeah, called? Yeah, yeah, it's now the Aegeus Bowl. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I remember it. I, uh, um, I remember my my son at the time was about I don't know, not very old at all, a couple of months old, and he came back and he met Michael Stipe, <laughs> and, uh, but <laughs> he didn't hold him or anything, but he kind of like you know said hello and got close to two um, bald dudes together it was quite funny <laughs> now you're you know you're getting older and you've got you know more, you're more mature you know you've got families and things like that does yeah. touring become more difficult you know being away from home and things like that uh, yeah for everyone especially like three of the band have got uh, kids and stuff so yeah there's not you know our lives are quite different to a lot of people that have a nine to five so mm. we have long stretches where we're all away and then when we're, we're off so I know 2010 was quite a difficult year for you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, can you look back on it now? Because I watched your documentary yesterday, and yeah. can you kind of reflect on it and kind of think it kind of needed to happen for you to be able to progress to where you are now? Absolutely. I mean, that's 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 the bottom line. Um, it was a hard time, and uh, to go through well, to, just to reach a point when you know you, we've been in a band for a while, we've made three records, and to to reach that point where you you know we couldn't make this fourth record together anymore, it wasn't working, and not being able to find the answers of how to, you know, do songs together again. So, you know, and that dragging on for quite a while was 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 a dark time for the band. And then to make the decision to go on without Chris, which um, was a very hard thing to do, um, was the only way of giving us a chance of making a record at all. You know, if we hadn't have done that, we would have just been the end of the band. Yeah. So, um, I think you know now, obviously, a little bit later, further down the line, we've made the record. We're touring with the new band, and it, it feels good, and we're proud of the record. Obviously, we're happy we, we made those decisions but it was still hard yeah do you think that was one of the key elements for your sustained success because there's been quite a lot of bands that started at the same sort of time as you that have faded away after maybe one or two albums but you've stayed there and you've stayed strong do you think you know having that change helped you know the change in the dimension of the band and things like that helped you move forward and keep going uh well yeah it has now and um it feels revitalized and quite exciting again um so yeah that, definitely has made us stick together you know it's obviously been in a band um, it's, it's been a long time for us so people are bound to change and you know, if you can all do it together that's, that's a good thing I was going to ask about Honesty because it's my favourite track off the new record and I know it's a single um, where did that come from because it's got like a as always with most of your song your lyrics quite a soulful epicness to it almost <laughs> it's the only way I can describe it but how easy was that song it sounds like it's come from quite a deep place um, well, I think all the songs on the new record are, um, are kind of about relationships or about love in a way some of them are kind of kind of slightly twisted or kind of a bit more about I don't know possessiveness and darker side of relationships and some of them are slightly more um, I guess hopeful and uplifting but um, that song is about when um, you know two people you know when relationships kind of go a little bit odd you know too honest with each other yeah it's about a relationship kind of breaking down I guess I know you tend to write most of the, the songs. How would you convey to like Russell and the rest of the guys what you wanted to sound like? Well, I think the important thing is that I don't really... Um, it's not that I don't care. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, I try not to be too uh, strong with my opinion of how the song musically should develop. Because I normally go, I give song 
the songs I hand over to the band will be like me on a piano or an acoustic guitar. Pretty much that's it. You know, so there's a million ways you could take it. Yeah. And you know, it, and it's our job as a collectively, and everyone's opinion is as, as important as everyone else's to present that in a way that suits the song and that we like as a band. You know, and we think represent represents who we are at that time. Um, you know, because we've made across our four records, we've done it in different ways with each record, and um, I think that, that I just let them. You know, come to me with what they, their yeah. idea is, yeah, and you know, of course, I'll say I think that's good or bad. But, um, <laughs> and you know, some songs maybe are slightly more obvious in the way you're going to take them. I think something like a ton of love. As soon as I think we knew exactly how that was going to be when I played the demo. But something like honesty, it was a journey of us collectively trying to work out how to make that work. And um, yeah, not to get too. Uh, I, I try not to have too strong opinion. Basically. So this on this record was the first time I've actually recorded in America wasn't it mm -hmm. you uh, went across the states how was that uh, yeah everything worked in the studio <laughs> so yeah. that's a start yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah we were recorded at Blackbird which is one of the best studios in, in America yeah we, we enjoyed work out, out there and with an American producer as well I know you were saying on the documentary that after this like album and tour you're all ready to get back in the studio is that still the plan um, I think we, we, yeah we'll definitely be doing stuff next year together at some point and there's no like time frame or anything but um, you know we all feel good together as a five piece so there's not really any reason not to you know continue to, to, yeah. to work and actually do a record because a lot of those songs that were on that on this record had been around a long time so to approach things fresh totally fresh would be I think for everyone you know good and exciting the last thing I want to kind of do is kind of like a ego quiz okay. <laughs> which is uh, have you ever googled yourselves this, this is this is would help you in this quiz. Yes, you have. Well, yeah. So that's a start because I, I do it to myself all the time and <laughs> I'm never there. Yeah. <laughs> At least you could appear. Uh, yeah. I, no, I, it's, it's not once a week, but uh, it's <laughs> yeah. happened in the past. Yes. Well, this this may be beneficial to you then. Okay. <laughs> right. So first one. What is your most viewed video on YouTube? Um, Papillon. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, spot on 8.7 million. <laughs> just, yeah. just a few. Yeah. I think I'm on about 800 with one of my videos, so yeah, yeah. a little bit behind. <laughs> um, what is the homepage to your website currently? Uh, Editorsofficial.com. Oh, it's the tour decks, isn't it? Yes. Oh, right. okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, still got a few tickets to shift. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doing quite well? Yeah, it's going okay. <laughs> To the nearest 100,000, how many likes do you have on Facebook? I think it's stayed the same for ages, it's so 500,000. Is that or is it near 400? I don't know. No, it's near a five, I think. Yeah, Russell's on it. There yeah, we go. Yeah. 500, not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Not <laughs> to do with a few million more, but yeah. It was, yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of percentage of our audience is, is, uh, is beyond the Facebook generation, yeah. shall we say. Yeah. Never mind, it's a bit older now. <laughs> right, also, according to Wikipedia, how many albums have you sold? Oh, I don't know what they'd say. It's probably wildly inaccurate, inaccurate but... Uh, I don't know what they said. Did they say two million? Spot on again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not a bad guess. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. are you sure this is guessing now, or are you having to actually just do this on a daily basis, get the phone out and check? Um, no, no, I think... Uh, I, I mean, that's... It's not... I don't think it's... it's it would be just under, I think, <laughs> if, you, if you accumulated the actual figures. <laughs> Still quite an impressive number. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. I've not sold a single single yeah. in my life, so to get two million, yeah, yeah, <laughs> can't yeah. complain. No, no, no. Right, the final one. This one should be yeah. relatively easy. What is the band's Twitter name? Um, <laughs> is it just the same as the website? It's, it's oh. official. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> good. Sorry, I'm a bit confused. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, thank you very much. All the best for tonight. I hope Thanks that goes amazing. Much. I'm looking forward to it. Cool. I've not seen you in what, five years, so it's going to be yeah, yeah. quite a change, especially with the new lineup. Yeah. So, all the best for the rest of the tour, and yeah. hope to hear some new stuff from you soon as well. Thank, thank you. Right, cheers. Nice thank you. Cheers.